Malaysia's 2025 spending plan is a roadmap for growth. The plan outlines ambitious investments in infrastructure, technology, and human capital. It seeks to propel Malaysia into a high-income nation. The plan aims to attract foreign investment and boost domestic economic activity. The government's commitment to fiscal responsibility is evident in the plan. It emphasizes targeted spending and efficient resource allocation. This approach aims to ensure sustainable economic growth. The 2025 plan is a signal to the world that Malaysia is open for business and poised for progress. The plan's success hinges on effective implementation and a conducive global economic environment. Malaysia's government is confident that the 2025 spending plan will deliver on its promises. It is committed to working with all stakeholders to achieve its goals. The coming years will be crucial for Malaysia as it embarks on this ambitious economic journey. Fiscal reforms are a cornerstone of Malaysia's 2025 spending plan. The government is committed to reducing the fiscal deficit and strengthening the nation's financial health. These reforms include measures to broaden the tax base and enhance tax collection efficiency. The government is also taking steps to optimize government spending and reduce waste. Subsidy rationalization, including the phased withdrawal of the RON95 petrol subsidy, is a key aspect of the fiscal reforms. These reforms are designed to create a more sustainable fiscal environment for long-term growth. These reforms are not without potential challenges. We must carefully manage the impact on vulnerable groups and communicate the rationale and benefits to the public. Effective communication and stakeholder engagement will be crucial for the successful implementation of these fiscal reforms. The RON95 petrol subsidy has long been a contentious issue in Malaysia. While it has provided relief to consumers, it has also placed a significant burden on government finances. The 2025 spending plan outlines a gradual reduction of this subsidy. This move is aimed at promoting fiscal sustainability and encouraging more efficient fuel consumption. The government argues that the subsidy cut is necessary to redirect resources to other priority areas. These areas include education, healthcare, and infrastructure development. However, the subsidy cut is likely to result in higher fuel prices for consumers. This move has sparked concerns about the potential impact on inflation and the cost of living. The government has pledged to implement measures to mitigate the impact on low-income households, including targeted cash transfers and expanded social safety nets. The success of the subsidy cut will depend on the government's ability to strike a balance between fiscal prudence and social welfare. To mitigate the impact of the RON95 subsidy cut, the government is introducing a two-tier pricing system for petrol. Under this system, eligible lower-income groups will continue to enjoy subsidized fuel prices. Higher-income earners will pay market-determined prices. This targeted approach aims to provide relief to those who need it most. It also aims to reduce the overall cost of the subsidy program. The two-tier pricing system is a complex undertaking. It requires robust mechanisms for identifying eligible recipients and preventing abuse. The government will need to ensure transparency and fairness in the implementation of this system. Effective communication and public education will be crucial to gain public understanding and support. The two-tier pricing system will be closely watched as a test case for targeted subsidy programs in Malaysia. Section 5. Attracting Foreign Investment Will the 2025 plan be the catalyst? The 2025 spending plan is designed to enhance Malaysia's attractiveness to foreign investors. The focus on fiscal discipline, transparency and structural reforms is expected to boost investor confidence. The plan's emphasis on infrastructure development, technological advancement and human capital development creates a favorable environment for businesses. The government hopes to attract foreign direct investment in key sectors such as technology manufacturing and renewable energy. Increased foreign investment is expected to create jobs, boost economic growth and enhance Malaysia's competitiveness in the global market. However, attracting foreign investment is a competitive endeavor. Malaysia faces competition from other emerging markets in the region. The government will need to actively promote investment opportunities and provide a conducive regulatory environment. The success of the 2025 plan in attracting foreign investment will depend on the government's ability to deliver on its promises and create a compelling value proposition for businesses. Section 6. The Stock Market's Reaction 
anticipating the ripple effects. The Malaysian stock market is expected to react to the 2025 spending plan based on investor sentiment and market dynamics. The plan's emphasis on fiscal responsibility and structural reforms may be viewed positively by investors. This could lead to increased market activity and a potential upward trend in stock prices. However, the market may also experience some volatility as investors adjust to the implications of the plan. The subsidy cuts, in particular, could impact certain sectors and companies. This may lead to short-term fluctuations in stock prices. The overall impact of the 2025 plan on the stock market will depend on a range of factors. These factors include the global economic outlook, investor confidence, and the pace of implementation of the plan's initiatives. The government will need to closely monitor market reactions and communicate effectively with investors. This will ensure stability and foster a conducive environment for investment. Section 7. The Wealth Divide. How will the top 15% fare? The 2025 spending plan's impact on the wealthiest 15% of Malaysians is a subject of debate. While the subsidy cuts and potential for increased fuel prices could affect their disposable income, the plan's focus on economic growth and investment may also create opportunities. The wealthy may benefit from a stronger economy, increased business activity, and potential appreciation in asset values. However, the government's emphasis on fiscal responsibility and tax reforms could also lead to changes in the tax structure. These changes might result in a greater tax burden on higher income earners. The overall impact on the wealthiest 15% will depend on the balance between these potential gains and losses. The government will need to carefully consider the distributional effects of its policies to ensure fairness and social cohesion. Section 8. The Rest of the Population navigating the impacts of economic reform. For the majority of Malaysians, the 2025 spending plan presents both opportunities and challenges. The plan's focus on education, healthcare, and infrastructure development has the potential to improve living standards and create opportunities for upward mobility. However, the subsidy cuts and potential for increased living costs pose immediate challenges. The government's targeted cash transfer programs and social safety net expansions will be crucial in mitigating the impact on vulnerable groups. Access to affordable health care, education and housing will be essential for ensuring that the benefits of economic growth are shared by all. The government's commitment to inclusivity and social welfare will be tested as it navigates the complexities of economic reform. Section 9. The Bigger Picture – Malaysia's Economic Transformation and Global Integration the 2025 spending plan is not just about fiscal numbers. It represents Malaysia's ambition to transform its economy and secure its place in the global order. The plan's focus on innovation, technology, and human capital development is aligned with the trends shaping the future of work and global competitiveness. By investing in these areas, Malaysia aims to move up the value chain, attract high-skilled industries, and create high-paying jobs for its citizens. The plan's success will require a concerted effort from all stakeholders, including the government, the private sector, and civil society. Malaysia's ability to adapt to the changing global landscape, embrace technological advancements, and foster a culture of innovation will determine its long-term economic trajectory. The 2025 spending plan is a step towards that future. Section 10. A Call to Action Embracing change and shaping Malaysia's future. The 2025 spending plan is not merely a government document, it is a call to action for all Malaysians. It is a call to embrace change, to participate in shaping the nation's economic destiny, and to work together towards a more prosperous and equitable future. The plan's success hinges on the collective effort of all Malaysians. It requires citizens to be informed, engaged, and willing to contribute to the nation-building process. The road ahead may present challenges, but with determination, unity, and a shared vision, Malaysia can overcome these challenges. The 2025 spending plan is an opportunity for Malaysia to redefine its economic narrative, strengthen its position on the world stage, and create a brighter future for generations to come. It is a journey that requires courage, resilience, and a belief in the power of collective action. Let us embark on this journey together with hope and determination towards a more prosperous and